Hey everybody, Tyre Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well here. So, some things to update you all on here. So, for one, that winter storm signal, not surprisingly, is starting to dwindle now. I've, I've been kind of leaning towards it not really holding up here. The uh, upper level pattern just kind of has really been showing that that setup just really was impractical at this point trough was moving along with the ridge just kind of working its way too far to the east here so things weren't i didn't i didn't really see it happening if i'm being honest but still the potential of the signals or the prospect of that signal uh, coming into fruition was interesting enough to talk about on here for a little bit but this is what we're currently looking at for that signal now you can see that trough is way off over here we got plenty of warm air in place over here or air that's not going to be towards freezing at this point truthfully because it's not going to be all that warm over here it's going to be above average temperatures but we're definitely not getting towards that 32 degree line in fact i don't even think most of the northeast is going to even be uh dipping down a bit here so at this point really we're just mainly going to be looking towards florida for a severe weather threat here and the thing to make note of is there are some marginal risks that are starting to pop up within the three-day period this one right now towards Texas where that storm system is going to originate from that uh, from that Pineapple Express that we're seeing off to the south here. Now, the thing to make note of here is beyond 72 hours, there are no marginal risks that get issued. If there's going to be any sort of outlook from day four and beyond, it's going to be a slight. We don't see any of that, which is good news. But on days four and five, predictability is too low. And one of these days in particular... I'm thinking Florida is going to be under the gun here, particularly towards the peninsula. I think the panhandle will come into play as well, but I'm definitely looking more at the peninsula currently. So, like I said, we go ahead and look at the storm system. Here's the evidence right here to go with that. This little mini ski jump that we have right here. You'll even, if you go ahead and uh, go like maybe a couple more scans here, you can even see this little pocket right here. And I think this is where the chance for a couple severe storms will pop up here. I don't expect a widespread outbreak or anything like that. So I wouldn't be too concerned with this. This is going to bring a good bit of rain over here. And also another thing that we need to make note of is this little piece right here that's off towards the southwest here coming into play and maybe bringing some additional heavy rain towards the southwest here maybe some flooding will be coming into play with that as well we'll get into the details of that threat probably within the next day or so because if you look at the time frame we're at 144 hours out but i do have pretty good confidence in this however so like i said we'll get into the nitty-gritty within the next couple of days here for sure but as we continue to go forward you can see uh eventually a uh, pattern begins here where we start to see a lot more ridging out to the east but we do begin to see a more active storm track out west and eventually this does push off to the east here so we're going to likely be looking at a uh, pineapple express type setup here where the storm tracks going to be off to the south here and then eventually jumps up to the north eventually i do see a setup similar to what we had earlier this month to start out the year maybe coming into play the severity in which the uh, pattern will shift is still up in the air right now but i wouldn't be surprised to see another cold blast as we go further along here and you kind of see this being reflected on the gfs as we go further throughout the run here there's that storm system that we have been watching for a while and then here's that next system that we're looking at over towards the southwest it makes its way off to the east of course and then notice the uh the amount of troughs that we end up getting starts to increase here and the track begins to change and right towards the 300 hour mark mark and beyond well i don't necessarily have a lot of, a lot of faith in exactly how this will play out or have it confidence i should say not necessarily faith but confidence that this will be the exact scenario the one thing that i keep on noticing is the uh trough starting to dig more towards this time frame keep in mind like i said 330 hours out is a long time a whole lot can and often does change but seeing this signal here is interesting i don't necessarily think that this is a winter weather signal or anything like that but this could be a sign of things to come as we go towards the back half of february here of course obviously we all know february starts tomorrow so one thing that we're going to look at here before we go on to the 
go on to the uh, preset models here. This is the lightning flash density. And really, we're more or less just trying to confirm what we could be seeing over the course of the next few days here, especially towards the weekend. So evidence of storms is definitely there over towards Texas, of course. That's where that marginal risk is issued. And then as we go towards Florida, we do see a really weak signal for storms here. Not much really uh, showing me that the threat for severe is there or significant severe, of course. I do think the main inhibiting factor with that setup might be large scale ascent, but I still think a marginal risk at best right now is possible. Slight if things uptrend a bit, but right now I'm kind of leaning against it if I'm being honest. And then if we continue to go forward from that point, if I can get this to roll here. There we go. But once we go beyond that point, it looks rather quiet for the most part as far as um, heavy lightning flash density. Usually with the uh, greater lightning flash density, the storm intensity itself also corresponds with that. Usually the storms will be stronger, but like I said, right now, especially even though we're 240 hours out, not too much in the way of a signal right now to go off of there. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the GFS for the precip here. And like I said, out west really seems like the uh, most active area right now, especially towards the southwest as we go further along into the model data. Here's our little storm system right here. Like I said, mainly going to bring some showers and storms out towards Florida, maybe some parts of the southeast here. Not going to be a long duration event. Maybe towards the spine, we might get a little burst spawn of the Alps here, apps here or not Alps Appalachians here we might get a little um, burst of snow here but it's not going to be a long lasting deal and then from that point like I said all the activity really seems to be out west and at times and maybe this system over here at 200 hours could do a little something over here towards the uh, northern plains but this doesn't look like at the moment it's going to be a really stout or really long lasting storm system the one that follows it, however, looks a little bit more interesting. But of course, 264 hours out, we're going to have to keep an eye on it. But the fact of the matter is, though, you can see the pattern starting to pick back up slowly but surely. And then maybe towards the back half, especially once you get towards 342 hours, maybe we could see it. Maybe we're seeing another signal yet again. But like I said, I'm not going to put a whole lot of merit into this because of the time frame that we're looking at right now. This is looking towards Valentine's Day. We're not even two weeks out on that yet. So, like I said, no point in really saying that, okay, this is definitely going to happen at this point. But it does look like we're seeing an indicator for maybe another cold blast coming in towards the end of this run here. Like I said, it's really going to boil down to like that last week when we'll know exactly just what kind of what just, just what kind of uh, setup we're dealing with here. And then also the impacts as well. That's probably going to be really more like three days out. So. Like I said, February is going to start quiet, but I think business will pick up as time goes on here. And just what we will see is still up to is still a question mark at this point. But that being said, though, hope you guys like this quick update. If you found it useful, you know what to do. Smash that like button. If you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Also hit that share button if you could and also leave a comment as well. But that being said, hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys in the next video for you tomorrow. Hopefully the February outlook will up be uh, available to use here. But till then, I will see you later. Tire Metalhead Weatherman signing off for tonight.